Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome back to What Cheers. I'm Nick as always. Tonight we are in store for what I believe is going to be a very, very special beer. Um, this is being reported to me as the treehouse killer of treehouse beers. Whatever the fuck that means. Um, <laughs> This is supposed to be the best thing. This is like made from unicorn hearts and angel tears. And I don't know what's going on. I have, I don't know. It's a beer. It's probably going to be amazing. It's from Treehouse. Um, it's a beer that the head brewer, Nate, brewed for uh, him and Lauren's first anniversary. They got married on September 20th of last year. And uh, that's coming up uh, just this week, actually this Sunday, that time I'm recording this. And uh, of course, Nate is the head brewer at Treehouse and his wonderful, wonderful wife, Lauren, uh, has been at Treehouse from the very beginning and she continues to be at Treehouse <laughs> every day, um, filling growlers, which is just mind blowing to me that she is from day one, <laughs> She has been in charge of filling growlers and uh, man, what what a uh, lucky guy Nate is <laughs> to have a girl stick with you that long. Um, but yeah, no, they're wonderful people. Um, she is awesome and Nate is a really great guy and it's just really sweet uh, that he, he brewed this beer, especially for their one year anniversary coming up now. And uh, I just love it. The, the our, Obviously the artwork guys, I mean, it's just, it just melts your heart. It really does. And I'm not even kidding. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's really cool stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, this is pretty much supposed to be just, uh, again, it's being reported to me as the best hoppy beer Treehouse has ever done, which the, the, like the magnitude of that statement to me is, and now, now my, you know, expectations are like through the roof and everything like that, but it is, it is hopped with Citra, and Nelson Sauvin, and that's it. So yeah, let me repeat that. <laughs> it's hopped with Citra and motherfucking Nelson Sauvin. Oh, that does sound amazing, doesn't it? And it's using a su uh, super simple pale malt bill, of course. Gonna showcase all of them hops. And uh, yeah, I believe I said already at 6.7%, and this was only canned five days ago at the time I'm recording. I had to go up and get this. It was selling very fast after the initial word got out of how good it was, understandably so. So enough of my yammering, guys. Um, the, I guess the last thing I want to say was that he did brew a beer last year for their, um, right before they got married. Uh, it was a pale ale called Beneficiaries of Chance, which I don't think I tried. I was still recovering from the car crash and stuff like that, so I don't think I tried that one, but um, I heard that was amazing as well. But obviously now they have the canning, so this is basically like Nate's love letter or love song to Lauren, and I think that's just fucking amazing that you're able to do that, and also because you're one of the best brewers in the world. So without further ado, guys, let's check out how good this thing is. I mean, you would expect it to be amazing, right? It's an anniversary present, so you gotta, you gotta bring your A game for the lady, so. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get this cracked open in perpetuity. Um, I cannot wait. It's been out of the fridge for about 20 minutes, uh, so we should be in that perfect temperature range. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this beer up on camera. Um, getting used to doing that still. Um, let's listen and see if we hear like any Taylor Swift songs playing when we open this up. Nope, just melted hearts everywhere. All right, let's pour this baby out. Oh yeah. Got a nice head on that. As I maybe already said, I have not had this. I saved my first can opening for the review, as I usually do if I can, so I have a more genuine reaction to it all. But yeah, guys, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. I can smell it. I can smell it. it smells like love. It smells like hops. It smells like juice. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Look at the appearance. We got about a two finger head of a tightly packed, slightly off white head. Very creamy looking. Um, just gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Color wise. This thing is deep, 
golden, dark orange, that kind of color, almost like, yeah, man, it just looks dark towards the middle. It looks lighter on the edges, um, just a really deep dark orange, a uh, honey color, if you could, I guess, picture that. Um, it's completely opaque, can't see my fingers to the other side, uh, as expected, super, super hazy. This one is somewhere in between milkshake thick and regular hazy thick, whatever that means. But yeah, really gorgeous, away from the light. Looks like Julius, looks like green, looks like just a beautiful, beautiful hazy dark orange, uh, looks like orange juice, pineapple juice. Let's go ahead guys and dive into the aroma on this. In perpetuity, I am very excited about this one after everything I've heard. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Believe the hype. Believe the hype. Smells so freaking juicy. Oh, just mouthwatering. Just mouthwatering. Overripe tropical fruits. Um, just juicy. Just cut it into, thrown in a blender. Yeah, a lot, a lot of citra. Definitely picking up that Nelson Sauvin. Um, it's definitely in the background for me right now at this temperature. It's still, you know, ch chilled, but it's not like super cold. Picking up some of that white grape, um, just Vinius like white wine character. Yeah, grape skin, just a, like a little bit of the acidic citrus, bright citrus notes, um, zesty notes, but mainly guys it's watermelon um it's mango juice it's pineapple juice it's orange juice big 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 notes on the melon though uh from the citra watermelon honeydew melon it smells a lot like julius to me guys i'm not gonna lie i don't think it smells that like crazy far off from like julius if that's good or bad i don't know i think it smells fucking amazing but i don't think it smells like worlds apart from uh, another treehouse beer oh, smells hoppy though like very bright like in your face pungent hoppy uh juicy making your mouth water uh yeah let's go ahead and get a sip guys i'm really excited cheers oh my god that is absurd. That is that is out of control. Okay. Wow. I think Nate just melted my heart, to be honest with you. I am in love. Wow. This thing is so pungent, but so juicy. It walks this tightrope of between straight up hop juice and then pungent sort of more dank tones to it. This is a straight hashtag banger, Eric Wood. Banger, baby, bangers. Um, this thing is a juice bomb. Straight gusher, hashtag gusher. Um, this is like melon bomb, juice bomb explosion. Um, tropical fruit explosion. Wow, I'm kind of like speechless. It's so hoppy and so juicy. I, like, I don't know where to go with like what I'm tasting. There's this super dried, drying, like dried out feeling on the tongue. And it's just this like super fresh, pungent hop bite. But there's no, no, no bitterness. I repeat that, no bitterness. Just all juice, pungent, sort of dank finish to it. Dries out your palate, ready for another sip. Amazing mouthfeel. Oh, it's got that creamy, like classic treehouse mouthfeel to it. Creamy, velvety, luscious for an IPA with 6.7%. Nobody's doing this except for Trillium, in my opinion. Mouthfeels like that. It's just, it's out of control. Wow, there's so much going on. Um, definitely, I think it's more citra heavy than it is Nelson which is fine. 
I think if you had too much Nelson, it may become a little bit overpowering with like that acidic white wine, um, white grape kind of note. So the Citra is really good to be, I think to the forefront of this beer, just straight up tropical fruits, you know, just like dripping, dripping tropical fruits, fresh cut. Wow. Just so much melon character though to it. Um, you get that slight, what kind of piney dirt resinous character in the back end, a middle of the mouth to the finish, you get that. And that's all the Nelson. That little bit of like twinge of like dirt. And again, dank pungency um, is just really that Nelson playing in at the back end. And it's super nice. It dries out the tongue. It kind of washes over your palate from like um, melon, tropical fruits, pineapple juice to that Nelson Sauvin mid, mid palate, um, you know, last half of mid palate to finish just transitions to Nelson, which is just so awesome. I love Nelson Sauvin. So I totally dig the way this beer transitions itself all the way through the palate. It's very, very cool stuff. All right, guys. Well, this beer is fucking knocking my socks off, even though my socks are already off. So I'm going to go sip on this for another few minutes. Uh, let it warm up just a few degrees basically to like cellar temp and I'll come back to you with my final thoughts and score on the in perpetuity, but unbelievable, another treehouse killer, whatever. All right guys, so I'm back with the in perpetuity and uh, I just dumped the whole rest of this can in the glass. I was just gonna have a little bit more on camera, but why the fuck not? I am, I am in love with this beer. It is really, really wonderful. <laughs> I have reviewed a ton of treehouse beers, like a ton. Um, whether or not you know that, uh, I have posted some, but I have reviewed way more than I posted because otherwise it would be completely obnoxious. And so with that being said, um, I do have a pretty good reference point of what is really exceptional from them as opposed to just like another treehouse beer, which is always amazing. Um, this one sort of falls in between for me. I, I, as far as being like the best thing they've ever done and then being like an amazing treehouse beer, that's what I'm saying. This is really, really fucking amazing. Um, yeah, there's just so much to talk about in this beer. Um, as it's warmed up and as I've sipped on it, what's coming to mind for me the most is almost as if this beer is like an amalgamation of green and Julius, because it has a lot of those melon notes. I mean, straight, just squeezed melons, um, pineapple juice, tropical fruit juice, has a lot of that, just straight melon juice. But what it also brings to the table, whereas Julius doesn't most of the time, is that super intense, uh, fresh, bright, zesty, hot bite um, where it's almost acidic, which is really, really cool. Um, it just is, it's intense. Uh, it, it's not just straight juice. It has a lot more going on to it. So that's where I kind of get that like green in my mind from. And, and in the finish too, it also almost tastes like you're chewing on the hops. Like it's that intense of the hop character on the tongue in the finish that it is almost chewy, like with green, I feel like. So there's a lot of, there's a lot going on here. Let's take one more look at it real quick. It smells a lot more like Julius than it tastes, I think. Although there is a lot of melon on the, on the flavor as well. But yeah, there's a lot of that just like watermelon smell, but let's get a taste guys, cheers. It's just so fucking good. It's so good. Again, just like I just explained, for the first three or four seconds in your mouth, it's a complete melon juice bomb, orange juice bomb. It just tastes like Julius. For those first two, three, four seconds, immediately once it hits the middle of the palate to the back, it goes hop crazy. It attacks your palate. It's that Nelson Sauvin coming in, coming in fast and hot. Um, it definitely has that, you know, uh, almost acidic citrus notes, super bright, almost tart. It borders on tart. That's how bright those citrus notes are. Um, zesty citrus notes, lemon, lime, orange, orange peel, grapefruit, all that just kind of pops your taste buds open middle of the palate. In the finish, it's that drying out, 
And then it's that sort of chewing on hops, like green, just green hops, just fresh hops, uh, almost like you can chew on them. Obviously, I don't have hops in my mouth. That'd be just weird. But um, yeah, it's it's just really a transition, a tr transitional beer as far as a single IPA goes. This is just remarkable stuff, guys. Uh, very few people in the world are putting out shit like this. It's just, it's just a fact. It's just craziness. It's got that gorgeous sweetness to it all all throughout the beer, just like that fresh, squeezed tropical fruit sweetness unbelievable it's just so juicy so sweet um and the mouthfeel again it's just velvet it's just luxurious to drink i mean it's it's a freaking ipa and it just is luxurious which is just nuts to me every single time i take a sip i just can't believe it the notes in this beer are so bright and again almost tart it's like sugar-coated lemon and lime in certain parts of it um, other parts, it's like grapefruit peel, grapefruit rind, orange rind, uh, you know, orange zest. It's just nuts. There's a lot going on here. Um, I definitely get some of that white grape, white wine, which I think, again, is uh, providing some of that acidic kind of character uh, in, in the finish, in the back end. But yeah, it, the Nelson's there, but it definitely plays second to the Citra, I believe. But um, just, and then you're left with all those amazing flavors in your mouth and your tongue's dry and your palate's clean so you're like ready for another sip immediately which is just so cool it's just so drinkable you're not even thinking about alcohol um it's just amazing so anyways guys i'm going way too long in this one as usual but uh it's a very special beer for a very very special occasion and i i love i love these people i really do treehouse is like my family uh lauren and nate they know that um so i i just wanted to spend the time this is such a great beer what a great honor or way to honor your anniversary, Nate. If you're watching this, uh, you know you know you you know how fucking awesome you are, man, and everything you've done. Uh, so this is just really cool to be able that you actually let us partake in. in you know you shared this, this very special beer with us. You know that I think that's really really cool. So thank you to Nate. Uh, thank you to Lauren. Lauren's fucking amazing, guys. If you you know if you're just watching from afar and you don't haven't met her yet, she's just the best. Uh, one of the best humans I've ever met. So um, she deserves this beer. And uh, I know that green, I think, is her favorite beer ever. So if I think it tastes like a mix of Julius and green, I may be on to something with that because uh, I think it's just awesome stuff. But yeah, guys, as far as a rating on this beer, uh, overall, it has a 96 overall on Beer Advocate right now. It's the highest rated hoppy beer that Treehouse has on Beer Advocate right now. It's higher rated than Julius. It's higher rated than King Julius. Um, so th this beer is just, I don't know, it's going fucking bonkers on Beer Advocate right now. Um, and it's like going up the top 250 list, like faster than any beer or something like that. Um, I, you know, this is a tough one for me. I really love this beer, but I don't know. I don't know if I can go the 100 on this beer. I love it, but there's like, Oh, there's so many amazing treehouse beers and I don't want just like the hype and everyone saying it's the best to factor into my score because that wouldn't be right. So I'm going to do one more smell and taste and I'll give you my score. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Man, it is so good. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Shit, I don't know what I want to go on this one. It's a 96. There's, you know what? There's nothing really wrong with this beer. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's 100. Hashtag Hunnets. Hashtag Hunnets. I gotta. I gotta do it. I gotta do it, guys. You know what? Haters gonna hate. Dislike the fucking video if you want. Getting plenty of dislikes these days. Don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, it's 100. 100 Treehouse beer. Deal with it. It is what it is. Truth is being spoken, my friends. Check this fucking beer out if you can. Um, it is just... It's awesome. Uh, let me know if you guys got this beer. I, I know some of you have already reached out to me like, are you going to review this? Um, and I've heard from everybody on the Treehouse Gang. It's a group on Facebook. Just their minds are exploding uh, on there about this. So 100 out of 100. 
easily. Um, well, it wasn't easy, was it? But yeah, I just, uh, I didn't want to let the hype factor into my scoring, but I'm happy with 100. Absolutely, one of the best. I mean, Treehouse is just one of the best breweries ever at this point in time. So if you don't like that, well, I feel sorry for you. Also guys, I want to suggest um, that you let this beer warm up. I say it in every review pretty much, you know, at the beginning, how I've let it warm up. Definitely let this beer warm up to, you know, slightly colder than cellar temp, but not like too, too warm. Just, you know, feel the can, get a, get a feel for it. But you're gonna really like this beer as it warms up. It, it really opens up, the flavor opens up a ton. Uh, the sweetness starts to come out more. You get a lot more just like fresh juice um, flavors out of it, but you gotta let your beers warm up, guys. If you just take it out of the fridge and forget about it for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, even a half hour, it's fine. Um, you'll be happier when you open it when it's that warm because you won't lose the carbonation that way. Um, and that's just the way that I do it. And I think this beer definitely showcases how well you can, you know, how well a beer is when it warms up. So it just keeps getting better and better. Every smell, every sip, guys. This beer got out to a lot of people because of the canning. And I've reviewed several Curiosity beers that are one-offs that have just been ridiculous, like double IPAs that you'll never see again. And I was just like looking around like, oh my God, who? no one's gonna get to try this. And I think every time I reviewed one of those, I was sort of like, well, that sucks. Like I love it and I'm geeking out over it, but nobody else gets to. Um, and I feel like this is one of those super, you know, rare occasions. Obviously, it's a brew for an anniversary, but it's one of those rare occasions where it's like a really special, really special beer that, you know, obviously Nate put a lot of heart and, and, and soul into that is getting out to a lot of people. He canned it. So that's really good um, to see. And that's, I mean, obviously Treehouse's beers are all incredible, but it's like the, the one-offs and the special stuff usually don't get out to a lot of people. So it's really nice to see uh, this one brewed in a big batch. Obviously this was a pretty decent sized batch and it's, get, it's obviously gonna get out to people now because of the canning. So I really dig that um, as opposed to some of the growler only um, you know, one-offs and stuff like that. All right, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you've had the in perpetuity and what you thought of it. I already know what everyone thinks of it. So now I'm just joining on the bandwagon late, apparently. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next peer review. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, cheers and cheers to you, Nate and Lauren for your anniversary. Many, many, many happy years ahead and a, uh, a happy lifetime together. So love you guys. Cheers. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.